In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your fan clutch on your Ford Expedition. It's located on the front of the engine. I'm on the passenger side, just past the frame where one of the cab supports are. And I'm going to turn the petcock to the left to drain the radiator. Make sure you have a drain pan below to catch any coolant. You're going to want to remove this cap, your coolant cap, to allow the fluid to come out a little quicker. Once it's done draining, you're going to tighten the petcock by going to the right. Make sure you clean the area. I'm using an eight millimeter socket, loosen the hose clamps. Take off our air box. We're going to remove our top radiator hose using an 8 millimeter socket for the hose clamp. Loosen that up. And usually I like to twist these first to get them to move and then pull them off with a pry bar. Once you feel it release, You can pull it off. Make sure you have a drain bucket below in case there's any residual coolant. And then just set that away so we can work on the fan. I'm going to take this out of its harness bracket and disconnect this connector on the clutch. You should be able to take your harness out of this bracket as is already out. It comes out of here. Pull the red tab and disconnect the connector. You're going to push in on the connector tab and pull out. So there's your lock and then you're going to push in here. I'm going to be using a fan clutch tool to remove this nut. We're going to use this tool with an air hammer to loosen up this nut. You can also use an adjustable wrench and use a hammer to bang it. If you use that, you're going to have to keep it from spinning by holding tension on this belt to keep the water pump pulley from spinning. Or you could try using a wrench on one of these bolts to hold it still. All right, so you're going to put your tool on there, whatever way you're going to do it. Like I said, I'm going to use my air hammer. And you're going to give it a quick... And it should loosen it. And you want to make sure that the nut is moving when you turn it. You may need your wrench to keep it going at first, and then you're going to spin it off once it gets going on its own. Once it gets going, and you're on the last thread, you're going to want to hold on to the fan, and you take it the rest of the way so you don't hit the radiator behind it. Almost there. So hold on to it. And now we're going to pull it out. Just going to bend the belt out of the way a little bit. And get it past there. And we're going to try to shimmy it out like that. Make sure your clutch is up so you can get it past the belt and then take it out. So we have our fan on the bench here. We're gonna take these four bolts out to remove the clutch from the fan. I'm using a 10 millimeter socket in my small impact gun.
you're going to remove your clutch from your fan. Line up your fan blade with your clutch and you can start your bolts. I'm going to snug these up and torque them to 62 inch pounds. Go to the opposite bolt. Let's torque these to 62 inch pounds. Go to the opposite one. And do the last one. And now we're ready to install. Using a 12 millimeter ratchet wrench to take off this nut and I'm holding it still with a 15 millimeter wrench. The new fan clutch comes with this bracket and connector. I'm going to set that nut off to the side and we'll reuse it. And we're going to take off this bracket and disconnect the connector. I'm going to push in on that tab and separate it. You can remove this because the new one comes with it. Feed the fan down. into position. You may have to avoid a few different things as you go down. Make sure your harness is away and make sure this clutch is up. And slide it down into place. Careful not to hit the radiator. And now you can begin to screw it on. I'm gonna let my harness go for a little bit. And just spin the fan on. Once that nut stops moving, you're going to get your wrench that you were using. Whether it's the tool or the adjustable wrench. And you're going to snug it down. Once it's tight, we're going to use our air hammer to give it a, a quick Snugging up, you can use a torque wrench if you want. Uh, the, it calls for 41 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna feed our harness into the bracket here. You may have to spin it for the opening. Once you're done doing that, I'm going to find your way up to the bracket or the stud to put the bracket on like so and you can get your nut started. Now you can plug it in, line it up and push. Make sure you hear that click and now we're going to tighten this up. All right, now that we've installed our fan, we're going to put our hose back on. And 
and tighten up that clamp. Tighten up your hose clamp. Make sure it's tight. We're gonna put our aftermarket air box back on. You should put your stock air box back on. All right, so we can put our air box back. Once you get that side on, you can tighten it down. Now we're gonna fill our system up with coolant. Use whatever the manufacturer recommends. You can usually see it on the cap, what it'll tell you to use, or in the manual. You're gonna do this till it's filled to the max. Once it's to the max, you're gonna start your vehicle. You're gonna let it run until it gets hot. The thermostat will open. It'll suck in the coolant that's in this, and then you're gonna have to top it off. So put your heat on when the car's running and let it run for a while. Once you see the coolant level go down, you're gonna fill it up to max. Make sure you have heat, top it off, take the funnel out, put your cap back on, take it for a road test. You're gonna remove your funnel if you use one and put your cap back on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.